Hi children, I hope you're all well. So um, it's our last final push now, um, last day, and then uh, we have got a week off. So a week, a, week, a break from uh, learning and just you can have some fun at home and enjoy your time with your family. So um, we've got one final uh, shape, space and measure work to do today. Um, and we are just finishing off our measuring topic. So um, can we think about now, what sort of things have we measured? Can you think about that? So we've done some weighing. We were um, thinking about, we're making predictions about what's heavier and what's lighter. And I think we, in school, we did some weighing as well before Christmas. Uh, we did, we looked at the capacity, so how much we can fill something. We did some work with some water, didn't we? How, what full is, half full, empty, all those sorts of things. And then we've also been doing some measuring of length and height. So length, how long something is, and height, how tall something is. And you all did such fantastic work last week doing some predicting, measuring, and ordering. So well done, everybody. So today we're just going to round off by choosing a challenge. So there's four different ones that you can choose from and you can decide which one you want to do. And you only need to do one. And I'm just going to go over them very quickly now. I'm not going to be talking for very long today because this is for you to do. You to go and find out and explore. So I'm going to show you um, the different things that we're going to do. This is the first one. So this one is all about, it says mass. Mass is how heavy something is. We, we do say mass um, when we're talking about church and things like that um, as well. But this mass is a different kind of mass. This is how heavy something is. So on this one, there are lots of different um, mini challenges. There are probably smaller challenges than on the other ones. But there's lots of different ones. You haven't got to do all of these. You can just do some of them. So it says, can you order three objects using the language heavy, heavier and heaviest? Pick up the objects and feel the weight and compare them. So you're using your um, your own judgment rather than weighing something. You could do some weighing if you had some weighing skills, um, but you can use your own judgment. So heavy, heavier, heaviest. Um, this one says, can you be a human balancing scale? Ask your grown up to pass you an object to hold in each hand, which is heavier, which is lighter. So, you know, you would do that. So if it's heavier, you would go further down, wouldn't you? Remember our weighing scales at school, the heavier one goes down and the lighter one stays up. So how can you show this with your arms? What happens if they weigh the same? Can you order three objects using the language light, lighter, and lightest? Pick up the objects and compare how they feel. So that's similar to this one, but you're doing the opposite. You're looking at the light, lightest, lighter, light, lighter, and lightest. Ask your grown up to give you two mystery bags. One is heavy, one is light. What do you think could be in each bag? Talk about your ideas and draw the objects that you think could be in each bag. Are heavy things always big? Are light things always small? That's a really good one. I think I might, I would choose to do it for myself. Take one piece of fruit. Can you find an object that is heavier than that piece of fruit? Can you find an object that is lighter? Can you find something that is equal in the weight to the fruit? So things that are the same as the fruit. And the last one, this is a, quite a big one. So maybe this is something you might want to do over half term. Follow a recipe with an adult to make a tasty treat. Can you help to weigh the different ingredients? Talk about how the balance scales change as you add more. That might be something that you want to do over half term. Maybe mummies and daddies won't be up for doing any baking or any, anything like that uh, tomorrow, uh, today, but maybe they'll be uh, wanting to do that over half term. So that's one of the things that you can do. So that's all about looking at um, how heavy or how light something is and weighing. Now, this one is about capacity. This is how full something is. So this is the challenge over here. Over here are some little tips for to help me missing daddies at home. Uh, but this says ordering cups. Can you fill a cup that is full? Can you fill a cup that is half full? Can you leave the cup empty? Can you order the cups from empty to full? Can you order the cups from full to empty? Can you add in two other cups? Can you order all five cups correctly now? So again, that's more, more exploring with capacity. So that's that one there for you to choose to do. Next one, this is measuring height. So this is the challenge over here. So you're gonna get some toys and think which toy is tall? Which is the tallest? Which toy is short? Which toy is the shortest? Can you think of another way to measure the height of your toys? How could you describe the toys that are in the middle? So um, over here, it, su it suggests that you might want to use string or ribbon to measure each toy, or you can use the blocks that we've used before, or you can challenge yourself and use a ruler. So that's another thing that you can try and do. 
And then the last one over here is measuring length. And I really like this one. Draw around your shoe on a piece of paper, then cut the footprints out. Can you use the footprints to measure the length of the rooms in your house? Which room is the longest? Which room is the shortest? So you have to cut out your feet and then you have to put them along maybe one of the walls in your room and count how many of your feet go along the wall. So I quite like that one. I think that one sounds quite fun as well. So those are the four challenges. It's up to you which one that you choose. Make sure you take lots of photos of whatever you do so I can see your work. I'm really excited to see it. And um, yeah, as I said, you can choose whatever you want. It doesn't have to, you don't have to do all of them. Just choose one um, and see how you get on. So I look forward to seeing your lovely work and see you later. Bye.